So, what's going on guys? I'm back with one, another video. So, I finally got rid of that other engine that's on my table or stand. It was a Predator non-hemi and it had my two cam in it and has 22 pound valve springs. I gotta bag this up still, but I don't know, I'm thinking about, I'm thinking about porting it. Anyway, it's 22 pound valve springs in the head. So what I was thinking was, well, I'll just pull the valve springs out. I'll pull the valve springs out and throw them in this engine right here. This is a little uh, 212 Hemi engine. And then I was thinking, you know, I, I did kind of what I call stupid mods. I did it just to do it. It's a junk engine. To me, it's a junk engine, pretty much, all right? Some and maybe more, to me, it's just a junk engine. It's a Predator 212. And I just wanted to try something stupid. So what did I do? I deleted the governor from the inside. And not only did I delete the governor inside, but I used this steel epoxy, whatever you want to call this crap. I filled the inside real good. Well, I, I, I put a, I slid a screw in with the epoxy around the screw. I stuffed it and slid the screw in. Um, then poured th some of this stuff on top of it and you know, molded it and same thing with the inside. I kind of molded it nice and flat the inside. Now I didn't lay it on the inside of the thing. I didn't lay it all out on the underside. I kind of just kept it around the hole. Um, so I went and filled this up, this epoxy. Something that's probably, something you probably shouldn't really do. But anyway, that's what I did. So then I got to thinking. I hear people doing non-hemi head to hemi head. To get, be get better compression so i think that's what i'm gonna do why not it's a junk engine i'm gonna try something that i normally want to do on probably the wildcat or the tilson my tilson 228 obviously that, that engine actually that engine is a 196 tilson r race head to a flat top piston which would basically be a hemi non-hemi head to a hemi block so that's already i mean that one's already like that but anyway so I was thinking, let's just try something. We'll do this 196. I mean, not 196, I'm sorry. We'll do the Predator 212 non-hemi head to here. We'll, we'll switch it out and possibly supposed to gain more compression. So instead of just go ahead and just putting the valve springs here, I wanna give that a try. If any of you guys have done this, I've got a few questions. You know, uh, maybe you can help me out in the comments and we could chit chat or whatever. Uh, Here's the thing that's got me blown a little bit, and I'm, I'm this is more of a video of me just reaching out for for help for you guys that know more than me. Uh, so you got these two rods here. This is what pushes up and down on the on the uh, these right here, the rockers. And then I also went and pulled out from the engine the what whatever you call these things that well, that the cam rides on. So then my question is, if I did this head swap onto this engine, and I don't even know if it really matters at all, would I use these rods that are already with this head? Or would I use the rods that are in here? Um, and then two, obviously you can't use, for some reason you can't use a, a, a non-hemi cam inside a hemi engine. Is it because, well, Let's forget about that. We won't even get into that. I'll just get this out the way. We're gonna make sure that doesn't exist. Um, Cause I don't think you, even if you switch the head over, it doesn't really matter. I'm sure it doesn't really matter. I think there's more to it than you can't use the, you can't use that cam. It's not because of the head itself. It's something else internal, which somebody probably could explain that to me if they want to. But so we're, that's what we're gonna do. I'm gonna take, and what I also was thinking about doing was why not, practice do a little port and polishing so i'm going to port and polish the head the heads a little bit and yeah that's pretty much it we're going to do a hemi to non-hemi head swap on here we are non-hemi on a hemi head on a hemi block flap top piston you want to gain some more compression uh i think it might even go a little, a little old school well no i can't do that we'll have to get a mccooney carburetor for this for this one 
unless I want to bend some contraption and I don't feel like doing all that. Instead of wasting my time doing that, I'll just go ahead and buy a $35 carburetor and I'll use it on something else later on down the road. Uh, so let me know if there's anything that I need to know about this swap. Is there something that I'll need? Is there something I should look out for while doing this swap? Uh, uh, what else? Yeah, just, just do I do I use these that are in this block that were in the original block, or do I use the ones that are in the Hemi block? If you guys happen to know anything, just give me a shout in the in the comments, and it should make some for some good content, man. It'll make like for some more race videos, and we'll put it, we'll pop this one on a different bike, and uh, we'll do some more race videos. I'm I'm gonna get better at the videos. I've been getting lazy and not want to pull out the GoPro out. And then, then, then load it up onto the computer. And so everything I've been doing is kind of like one takes. So, but I promise I'm going to get off my lazy butt and start recording with that GoPro and actually editing stuff and making it look a little cooler. Because, I mean, I can do it. I have, I do have the knowledge to do it. I'm just, like I said, been a little lazy. Uh, anyway, if there's anything I need to look out for this swap, let me know. Uh, yeah, that's it. You guys have a good one. Like always, wear your helmet even when I don't. Be smart. Like, comment, subscribe. See you later, guys.